Hey guys, welcome back to Worship Guitar Sound. Uh, hey, today this is an exciting video for me because I haven't done an update for my pedal board for several years. This is my current pedal board. So I, it's taken me a long time to land on this, but there's a few pedals that have always been staples for what I do. The Ego Compressor and the Euphoria. So you'll see these in here. They're always on. Um, these are basically the settings that I keep all the time um, on these pedals. So take a picture, try them out, see if that works for you. Um, quickly, we'll go through signal flow and then I'm gonna give you some sounds. So we'll, we're coming directly into the Ernie Ball. I've been back and forth on doing that versus doing drives before. And I just love the ability to turn down my input for the drives. So, so I go straight into that tuner out to the tuner. I love having my tuner on all the time. Um, you know, if something feels weird, I can just get to it right away. Then to the Ego Compressor, down to the Euphoria, to the Kilt V2. I do have the red remote connected to the Kilt V2 up by the volume. Next is the Monument. And, you know, I've been back and forth on what kind of modulation sounds that I prefer. I do like chorus, and if I ever need a chorus, I can always drop a chorus into that location. Uh, the one that I would look at, um, I, I've heard the Julia, I think it sounds great. I would probably also look at the Wazacraft chorus that Boss makes. That thing sounds awesome. So from there, that goes right into the timeline, up to the big sky, and out to the Iridium. Again, been back and forth on how I would like to use the Iridium, either before my time or after my time-based effects. I've got it here before because that gives me the ability to run headphones directly into the Iridium and practice at home. When we're at church, we do use Kempers. Uh, so we've got two Kempers, and I want to have the ability to... Um, just go right into the Kempers as well. So this, the, the Iridium becomes as much a practice tool for home as it does for playing out. And then over from that, it goes to the Pinstripe Pedals Daiso Plus. Uh, quick thoughts on the Daiso Plus. The, the output coming out of the Iridium is, is pretty strong. And that's a good thing because this can drive a decent length of cable. However, it's unbalanced. So the Daiso Plus, what it does is it balances that signal, which eliminates any sort of interference that can happen from long cable runs. And it does that through Jensen isolation transformers, which actually have a really nice sound to them. I can come directly off of this and split and go out to um, amps or Kempers if I wanted to. Probably if I was doing that, I would skip the Daiso altogether and, and just go straight to um, the, the Kempers themselves. And then, XLR out. So this is my setup. So let's go ahead and listen uh, to the bass tone. Um, and then I'll walk you through kind of how I use my timeline and Big Sky, which is a little different than the, the way I think other people use them. So this would be what I would call my bass tone. Forgot to also mention, I'm playing through a Sur HSS Antique. Uh, go ahead and put it in the shot right here. That's good, the guitar you'll be hearing. Okay, so. The settings on the Iridium, totally stock. There's no, no updated cabs or anything like that. So that's what this sounds like. So next I'll move over to the kilt. This is my Moore drive, which the advantage of using an HSS Strat is I don't need so many drive sections. I can move up to the neck pickup with the kilt on. And if I turn my volume up and go to the bridge, Pretty cool. If I ever need some 
So a little bit more than that. I've got the red remote right here. Turns on gain stage two. <laughs> All right, going from there, I go to the monument, and this is the setting I usually use on the monument. Next, moving over to the tape setting. This is a tape setting on a quarter note delay. This is one of two delays that I use, and I don't usually go much beyond that. I'll show you a couple of other sounds that I've got that I can jump to in case I need anything more. But really, I stay on this page. So, delay A is a tape, and that sounds like this without the spring. Secondly, I have a dotted eighth delay. Um, really, it's a dual delay in quarter note mode, uh, but it's got a dotted eighth feel to it. So we'll hear what that sounds like. Let's hear that with a little bit more drive and um, I'll go ahead and turn on my hall reverb. I'll go through my reverbs in a second, but let's go ahead and hear that with uh, these sounds here. Okay, I'm gonna leave this back on the tape and let's go look at the, the big sky for a second. Uh, again, I, I think simply. So uh, I've got small, big, and biggest. So small is gonna be a spring reverb. Sounds like this. Next is a hall setting. Sounds like this. And then finally, this is my Swell Bloom setting. This is a setting that I got from Guitar For His Glory. I made some changes to it, but thought it was a really nice patch. So uh, shout out to you, Troy, for making that. So here we go. This would be what I would use for a Swell. I would go to my dotted eighth patch and the Swell setting. Okay, a few tricks that I can do here as well. So if we jump over to layer two, bank one, I've got 
a vintage square kind of this is a, this is a setting that's built into the timeline and it gives you that tremolo kind of feel so here's what that sounds like All right, and then finally, the last setting that I use is a shimmer effect. I like to get this off of my delay because I feel like it's more subtle. Here's what that sounds like. One more thing I like to use the monument for is if we're doing a big swell and I want some movement in it. The monument does a really good job of that. Here's what that would sound like. So this would be pretty cool as well for some tremolo picking with the tremolo. Couple more sounds for you guys. Well, hey, that's what I had for you guys today. Hope you loved the video. If you did, go ahead and put a like down there, subscribe for more content, and we'll see you guys soon.